body culinary and today we're working um, with spices. So I like to clean and organize constantly to see um, what I have in stock and what I can use. And right now I'm going through my, um, my spices, my dry spices. I prefer to use uh, um, whole spices um, because they taste much more um, pungent and a lot of the essential oils are still intact as opposed to the things that are sitting on the uh, shelf that were brown who knows when and then sat in the warehouse and then they sit in the store for how long. So um, usually they don't even taste the same as um, fresh ground spices. So I wish I showed this to you a little earlier. But right now I'm working with some, uh, some coriander. So coriander you can find it quite often the whole ground spice. Um, inside of the Indian spice market. So um, as I'm preparing my um, working with the food, I like to say that the food is always talking to you because when you handle your own food, you can see the difference um, in different batches. You can see the difference um, when you get um, the spices made from uh, different people, or different uh, purveyors or vendors, or even um, with your produce. Um, from shipment, from shipment, from shipment to shipment, or season to season, you can tell the difference. And there's so many, much information you can't see when you're not preparing your own food. So just about to grind some, had a big bag of coriander here, so um, sometimes I go to the Indian Spice Market. And down at the bottom of this jar, the coriander looks totally different. So you know, some people might say, oh, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is um, if you see like a dramatic difference in your handling of food, you can tell if it's, a, if it's a better quality, if it's been tampered with in terms of GMO. Also, you can tell like um, at a basic level which batch is better and which batch was tastier. So I'm going to see if I can separate these and see if you can see the difference. So if this was ground up, um, you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. But let's see if you can see the difference between the two different types of coriander. So this one has a totally different color. These are round. This one is oval. Here has a much, um, it's more like a football. That one might be from this batch, this round one here. But these are round and brown. And these look like, like a total another color. Let me get a little bit more. Yeah, the food gives you information. Let's see if you can see a little bit more, if you can see the difference. So they both say coriander, they're both the whole spice. Uh, my first inclination is always to make sure that it's not toasted, because I prefer the spices uncooked, untoasted, and whole, so that the essential oils are still intact. And keep in mind, all the essential oils um, inside of the spices have different medicinal properties. Um, like a lot of the cumins and coriander are actually good for your um, digestion. And also for the immune system. So I just thought, thought I'd share that with you and just make a quick note that uh, one, when you're working with the uh, with the whole food, um, it's going to taste better. It's going to taste a lot fresher, and also you can see lots of information that you can't see when you're not preparing your own food. So it can really make a difference in you being able to select the best spices, what's going to taste the best, and where to go, you know, to get the best stuff. This is body culinary. Um, love to hear how you select your spices. Do you even use fresh spices? Um, do you have a brand from scratch? Do you taste the difference? We'd love to hear in the comments below. Please, um, if you like this video, please make sure that you like, um, subscribe, and comment below. And hit the notification bell so you can be um, notified when I post more videos. Right now, I'm gonna have some ashwing seeds, um, some cardamom, some other spices. I'm gonna grind them fresh in small batches. And then also, I'll only need a small amount than I would if they were already ground inside of the jars in the store, right? Because these are going to be much more potent and much more flavorful. Mm. This is fresh coriander. Mm. It's potent that it just ground up. So you can uh, either use the modern pestle, which I like to use sometimes, which to me is fun, or you can uh, grind it up if you have a Nutribullet or a Vitamix or a blender. You can grind it up in your own. But it smells so good. It does not smell um, the same when you buy it out.